What's up everybody? So I'm back again with another toy discussion and today it is going to be talking about one of the things that were most commented about on my one video review about the King Shark Gold Label exclusive and the fact that he doesn't even have a bloody mouth. Now when I did the review originally I didn't really realize what what the issue was. I thought the bloody mouth came with the build a figure and that the exclusive would have the clean mouth. That's what I heard before, but clearly that wasn't the case as some people were getting the bloody version and some people were getting the clean version. Mostly I've been seeing clean as of right now. I have seen a few bloody versions, but um, as far as which one's going to be more rare, which one's messed up, if that's the case, um, you know, we're going to have to see how it plays out because right now people are still getting their pre-orders and the figure isn't even fully released yet now it did get have its uh online pre-orders but it is still not released in stores yet and there hasn't really been a comment or so if they're going to actually see stores i feel like they are since dark side is and they're essentially the same type of exclusives this year for mcfarlane and one just went to target and the other is going to walmart and since Walmart shelves are pretty much empty all the time, I don't see them having an issue saying, yeah, you could throw this shark figure onto the shelf. This figure doesn't look bad itself. It looks nice and clean, right? But obviously you would see the blood that was supposed to be here. And then you would see, you know, blood on his tongue. But instead it's just pink, right? There's two things that people have been saying what, what's going on with this figure. Well, there's two reasons why there's no bloody version now i've heard that it's because walmart didn't want to see blood on a shark so they mcfarlane had to take off the blood and then only a few just snuck out i don't really believe that one since the figure still comes with dismembered parts and still has blood applied to that i don't think a little blood on the face wouldn't even be that bad especially when the application of the blood in my opinion i thought wasn't that great and if you've seen the movie it's kind of a letdown i kind of wish we would have seen a king shark that was just fully blood out you know blood blood everywhere right because there's there's some cool shots like that so people if you want to fix it you can customize it i think it sucks that you have to ruin a figure uh like that i really do uh, unless you're getting an extra build-a-figure piece because of those unmasked figures they come with extra pieces of king shark so you know if you guys want to shell out a few extra more bucks to mcfarlane and then make your own bloody version that's what i would probably recommend but i don't know about that uh excuse though from mcfarlane uh the, the fact that they had to take off the blood i think is wrong now, if the blood on the figure was removed, and that is the actual reason why, it's kind of weird that they would do it to all the online pre-orders since those figures weren't going to see store shelves anyway. I don't know if McFarlane would have to do a certain cutoff, but I mean, this figure sold out the first day. I mean, I bought it like the first few minutes it was out, so it's not like they just had run out. You know, I, I think that there's just some issues that they could have had in the in the factory that blood just wasn't applied that i i think that's the main issue i've emailed uh mcfarland twice now about this uh and first question is hey is this figure going to be like this on purpose was there is there a mixture of blood versions not a mixture of clean versions as the exclusive which it's kind of a bummer if you make the exclusive an exclusive within another exclusive, you know. It's kind of a bummer how, how this is being played out, if that's the case. But if it's a factory issue, then maybe McFarlane can send out replacement heads to people who got clean head versions. So this way we actually get the exclusive that we all paid for, you know. Uh, that, I think, would be... Uh, an option for McFarlane hopefully it is an option I think uh if everyone deserves to have the figure that was advertised and was supposed to be shown as is 
uh, and the fact that only a portion of people are getting it and not everyone that buy that exclusive is, you know, uh, it's just a bummer. It's a real bummer. So, you know, if you guys think that McFarlane should do something about this, please like, share, subscribe, whatever, do all that stuff to make this video get seen so McFarlane can say, hey, we messed up and we need to fix it. Because McFarlane's very good on this stuff. I, I've I've seen people get wrong hands and, and wrong like legs on the other side, you know. Uh, I've seen people get replacement parts for this and I think uh, for a design feature missing on a figure that was supposed to originally have it should be at least uh, an option to get, you know. Uh, I mean, is it likely? I mean, who knows, right? Uh, anything can happen, but... If we all just say, hey, whatever, we move on, you know, then nothing will be fixed, right? So hopefully uh, this this does get seen and that McFarlane can do something about it. Now, I hope that did address a lot of people's questions about whether King Shark is going to be in store or not. And whether if the blood is a mistake or if it's supposed to be another variant a clean variant and then a bloody variant of the exclusive uh we'll we'll see how they react to this so hopefully this kind of addresses some of the questions you guys were asking like if this figure is going to be released only online if it's going to be sold in stores or not people are also saying that it wasn't going to be sold in stores or not you know i i i think we should wait that one out because we all know stores have weird timelines and there's going to be a certain time. Maybe it just won't be matched up with August. But maybe we will see this King Shark out on shelves. So that's all I have to say about King Shark. If you do agree with what I said. And you want a difference made to King Shark. And you want to get a bloody version. Please share this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe guys. Now I'm going to move on real quick. And just talk about what I'm going to be uploading in the future. So I just got the Unmasked Peacemaker. So that review I'll have coming up soon. Uh, and then I have the Samuel Comic-Con bloody version of Cabal. I'll do this one. And then maybe, uh, maybe I'm going to do the Conjuring 2 NECA figure. Uh, the Crooked Man, you know. Uh, I might do a review on that one. I haven't really decided if I should, uh, explore more into action figure reviews if you guys do want to see a review of this one though let me know and then i'll uh, make it happen and if i open it then sorry you'll just see it out of the box so i hope you guys did enjoy this video so i will catch you all next time and i will also like to remind you please don't forget to like and subscribe so that's all I have to say about King Shark. If you do agree with what I said and you want a difference made to King Shark and you want to get a bloody version, please share this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Now, I'm going to move on real quick and just talk about what I'm going to be uploading in the future. So, I just got the Unmasked Peacemaker. So that review I'll have coming up soon. Uh, and then I have the Samuel Comic-Con bloody version of Cabal. I'll do this one, and then maybe, uh, maybe I'm going to do the Conjuring 2 NECA figure, uh, the Crooked Man, you know, uh, I might do a review on that one, I haven't really decided if I should, uh, explore more into action figure reviews, if you guys do want to see a review of this one, though, let me know, and then I'll, uh, make it happen, and if I open it, then sorry, you'll just see it out of the box, so, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, so I will catch you all next time, and I will also like to remind you, please don't forget to like and subscribe.